here I am again. Man, I know I am turning out to be the biggest pain in the butt. Because I just keep knocking at your door at the brush bar. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Now, the brush is really kind of skanky. Okay. Now, here I am again this morning. Um, <coughs> oh, it's this afternoon. <coughs> 101, July 31st. Ooh, there's something I've got to do today. Oh, well, there's always something I have to do. Like today, I was trying to do some cleaning because I've got company coming on Wednesday and, um, and on Thursday. Oh, oh. And um, so I was going to clean, you know, because to make them think that I you know, am clean, like I'm, like I'm tidy and OCD and stuff like that, but it would be fake, it would be fake, so I ain't worried about that too much, because I, is that something I knocked down in a, oh, that was my medicine bottles, these empty, but I don't throw them empty bottles away, I keep them, because I can put beads and stuff in them, I'll put them right here, up here, hopefully they don't avalanche down on my head, okay, um, but I wanted to do this, because yesterday I had y'all in my clutches, when I was doing these, um, gel printings, let me, let me zoom you down to this, to the showroom floor, by the way, y'all's looking good this morning, everybody's looking good, okay, now, I mean afternoon, Okay, now, my mouse is sitting right there, and when I first went to go start this thing, I'm looking all over, all over, I'm looking for my mouse. So what did I do with my mouse? And it was sitting right there. I know it. I am going to have to move in with one of you units pretty soon, because I'm going to need somebody to take care of me, because I'm losing my mind. Okay, but anyway, these were some prints that I pulled yesterday on my gel printing. Now, some of them leave a lot to be desired. Some of them already look pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one. I'm going to I'm going to pick one that seems to leave a little bit to, to be desired. So I'm going to pick this one. This one isn't one of the best ones now. This one needs some psychiatric help. So what I'm going to do, wait a minute, first, I never know what I'm going to do. I never have a plan. Oh, what, what a piece of paper. Has a, just a minute. I'm getting a piece of paper. I'm getting me a piece of paper. The reason being is I'm going to glue this, paper, this piece of paper onto this piece of cardstock. And I'm going to do that only because so I have a, because I'm going to be cutting this apart. And I want it to be more than just paper. Okay, just a minute. Oh, wait, wait. Just hold your horses a minute. Because then I thought I had most everything out that I needed. But now I do not see my... Oh, there it is. There it is. I found it. I found it. It's right here. I wanted this here. Yes, please. I want to use that. Yes, please. And then... What that is, somebody people sends me mail, you know, they want me to take out a credit card or something, so they send you a fake one, it's just fake, fake credit card. And so, but these are the best for um, for putting glue, especially like when I use my yes paste. This is yes paste, by the way, I'm new to yes paste. I hadn't used it before, but Shannon Green, I watch her a lot. She's addicting to watch. I watch her a lot. And um, because she was singing its praises, I said, oh, i got to get me some of that. And so she's an enabler, by the way. So if you watch her too much, you might get into financial trouble. But so I want, I'm going to just yes paste this whole thing on here. And, um, just because I want to, and, um, and, um, just a minute, I'm still yes pasting. I'm just smearing that on there like I know what I'm doing. Oh, 
Okay, now I'm going to put this piece of paper on there. And that just gives me a... See, I used paper, recycled. It was recycled paper. My daughter had brought that to me from her work. You know, they just come throw it in garbage. And, um, of course, she knows not to allow things to go into the garbage. She's not a hoarder, but she knows her mother is. So she brings things to her mother, which is me. I'm her mother. And so there we go. So I got that glued on there nicely. Now I'm going to... Let me see. Just kind of do it a little squash it. I'm going to squash it. Now, um, there we go. Now that's nice. Let me just put that on there. And it just leaves, because when I go to cut this, because I'm going to cut it. Um, excuse me, children, children. It's all good. There's nobody out there. Gosh, I can see right out to the driveway. Now, now, see, there is some really pretty stuff on this, on this print. I like this bronze paint that I put on there. That's good. And I, I used a little bit of a, um, a foam stamp, and I was putting ink on, taking some off, like this one here. Well. Like this one here, I put I used the foam stamp after I did the full. This one I used the foam stamp before I did the full. So you can't you can't really see it much, but you can see it a little bit. And so then there's so much you can do with these. So much you can do with these. And so first of all, because now if you want to be a mixed media artist, not saying that I am. But if you want to be one for real, you need to watch like Shannon Green or, or um, oh gosh, now the names are, are, are evading me. And so, but there's some mixed media artists out there that are really good. And I watch their videos and, and come up with ideas and plans and and then I and, and then I you know I can take their ideas and then I can I can um add my own to it and you never know what you never know what you're gonna get you and so um so I watch them and then I just do my own thing but see their ideas what I put the lid on eh I'm done. I'm done with that. I'm done put the lid on. And so I have different stamps. This one, oh, I love this. Can you see that? I found that at the thrift shop the other day for 25 cents. I really should go to the. You know what? This afternoon I might have the hubster take me to the thrift shop again because I like it at the thrift shop because you never know what you're going to find there. You can find some pretty good stuff. And so I just take my stamps and I and I ink and stamp here and there. And like this has got some music on it, so I'll put some music notes, musical notes here on this. And just kind of putting a lot on there. Just and it might overlap something different. That's okay. That's just fine. And then this one here, this one just is, um, okay, let me see. I should tell you what brand this is, if it has it on there. It just says novel background, and it comes from Hampton Art. Hampton Art is where that one comes from, before it hit the thrift shop. And this one came from Recollections. This one I bought. This one I bought over there to the um to Michael's recollections. This one I've had for a hundred years, and so I don't know where it comes from. This one is from Stampendous, 1995. So that one's been around a while too. And I don't know if I bought that new or if I got that somewhere else. But all it is is just like like you know, just like like paint stuff like marks 
And so I'm going to put some of them on there too. And see, already, already that's looking more pretty full. Now, and look at this. I got these are little hands. That's stampability. Three dollars and forty nine cent. You think I gave that much to that? I don't think so. I must. I don't know. Remember where I bought this one? But um, <laughs> put some hand prints on there too, just because hand prints are awesome. And since I have hand prints, then I got these little feet prints too. Stampability. Same place. You know, I probably bought them. I was probably making like baby cards and stuff, and I probably bought it for that. But I don't remember because my memory has done gone kaput. So I'm going to just put a few footprints on there along with them. Okay, now. Okay, I was going to use that flower. Now, I'll use that flower and something else. Now it's just got some stars on it. This is cool. Postcard. That's a postcard stamp. I bought that one. I remember buying that one in Penny Black, and I bought that in um, at Hobby Lobby. I do remember that one. I really needed it that day. Okay, so then, see, already there's a little bit of character on there that wasn't there with just the with just the pulled print. So then, now, there's so much you can do with this. Just so much. So I'm going to put some, just some white, basic Liquitex. My, I bought that at Michael's. Paint. Um, I'll just put that on there. Now, other tools you can use are like a lid from a bottle. Or a smaller lid. From a smaller bottle, or a this is a little bowl. <laughs> I bought that little bowl at the thrift shop too. Is that the cutest thing you ever saw in your life? I don't know. I I only bought it because it was cute and it was probably like ten cents, and so that's why I bought that. This is cute, cute. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do with that is if I'm gonna just put it in that white paint, sort of like that. I really actually should have just put it on my pad. Now I probably have too much. Oh, no, it's okay. Now, now I'm going to just put some white circles here and there onto this paper. On top of everything else, you know, it just doesn't really matter. You know what I should have done? This is what I should have done. I always think of shoulda stuff. I always think of shoulda stuff after I do it. But that's okay. I don't mind. Hey, I'm reaching back here after something. Just a minute. Just my big foot right here. Ah! Okay, just a bit. Oh, there is it. I think it's in this bag. Just a minute. I think it's in this bag. Oh, I got some more prints in there. Oh, you know, I just don't have any sort of. Okay, I'm not having any luck with that. So I'm just going to pretend that I wasn't going to do that in the first place. If I would have had one. That's weird as ever. Okay, never mind. I can't find it. I was going to glue some, like, newsprint on there. But I don't think it needs that anyway. So I'm going to instead... Where's that little one? Okay, here's the little one. And, um... I'm going to put some little circles. That's good. Don't you think so? That's good. Would you agree? Let me stick that on there, right there. Okay. Now, okay, now I'm going to get just a minute. What's that? It's Why are you crying like that? Butterfly. Little butterfly. Sammy has to Yeah. 
I don't know. I went to go get some sprays. I've got so much sprays that I don't know which one. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, this is, this is, I bought the Color Lab spray kit. It's called a Color Lab and it's got all these powders in it and you can make your own colors. And so, and then what I do is I just put them in these little bottles and then I put a label around there. I spray some of the color on the label so I know what color it is. This one's called Cosmic. And so, but I'm just going to give it a little. spray here and there. There, that just gave it a little bit of a spray. Now, okay, so we got that. Now, now, I'm gonna, after I droop my hair in the paint, I'm going to dry this off a little bit. You know what, that one piece is too thick. That wouldn't dry in a hundred years. So I'm going to just where it's too thick like that, I'm just going to take that off of there like that. I could let it dry on there, you know, but, you know, I I don't know how to pause this. I don't think I can pause this. Actually, where I'm doing that, it, might, it makes even more of a different design where I'm just trying to pick up some of that extra paint where it's kind of think, thick. And so... Yeah. Okay. So anyway, that's good enough. So I'll just give that a little dry. You can roll a toes right there. That's cute. Okay. And so, see, now I'm not seeing a lot of, a, a lot of the, um, the pulled print, you know, that was there and it was boring as ever. Now. See, now, if I'd have thought of it earlier, I would have probably put some, like, torn newsprint, not newsprint, but, like, book page, and I have got a stack of it, but I don't know where it is, and, um, but I could have put, I, I, sh I would have, I would have maybe put some newsprint on there, and then stamped over that, too. Not, I mean, not cover it with newsprint, but just put a little bit here and there. And so right now, I'm just drying this, the white paint. Everything else is dry. It's just the white paint. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, now there's other things. Well, actually, I printed this here page off of um, um, the Pink Poodle Playground something 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 bigger and um stacy evans has that and but she's got these like ideas like these idea prompts and you can well i did i even scribbled on it but it's got different ideas of what you can maybe do different things that you can maybe do a fill paint ink watercolor colored pencil emboss whatever embossing that would be cool if it's not right there i can't because i can't fit that through my <laughs> grab first thing to your left let's put add spray i did that add text i kind of did that add texture um add paper add dimension she's got add circles i got that add black and black or white and i put the white Add dots, add lines, add, okay, I'm, this, this is cool. Okay, now, to speed this up, if any, you know what, I got a question. If any of you have this here, let me look, I got to turn this camera. This is a Logitech camera, I think it's a Z920 or something like that. And, um, the problem that I have with it is that, there's no pause, or if there is a pause, I can't find it. Now, if I had a pause on this thing, if I had a pause on my camera, I'd love that because then sometimes in the middle of something, I might say, oh, I got to go find something. And for me, I always takes forever to find something. So my pausing action would be very nice. 
Now, and if, if you don't have this kind of a camera, but you do ha have a camera that does pause, tell me about it. Now, see if I can bug my husband to buy me one. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I just cut the very edge border off of that one. And now, because I'm going to make these ATC, ATC size, and I can't even talk, which is two and a half by three and a half, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll let you know. So I'm going to cut these at two and a half, two and a half. I'm going to cut these, I'm cutting these at two and a half. I might be wrong. I don't know. If, if I'm wrong and this is on the ATC size, it'll be okay because I can still use them on cards and stuff. But, and I was wrong once before, and maybe even twice. But, um, so that's what I'm doing here is I'm cutting these to two and a half inches. There you go. Now, isn't that great? Now, I'm cutting these to two and a half inches. There you go. Now, now. I'm going to cut off just a tat of that edge. I don't want that real white edge. And then I'm going to cut this at three and a half. Three and a half. See that how different that looks once it's three and a half? Isn't that nice? I like it. I think it's good. And um, there's a lot more you can do with these. When you do mixed media, anything goes there and and so then I'm gonna cut oh excuse me I just made a ham and cheese sandwich and it makes me look okay and now I'm cutting this at three and a half and so now and then I'll show you I'll show you what I'm going to do after that. Uh, well, actually, what I should do after that is feed my house cleaning, but it's not important. House cleaning is not important. It's definitely overrated. And I don't usually clean up because my children are coming, because they know me by now. But I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Okay, love. My love's going to go check the mail. I hope I got something good in there. I love it. I'm going to tell you something. I'm tell y'all something. Now, I don't tell this. Oh, yeah. I tell everybody. But I am 46 years. No, I'm not 46. Where did I get that, 46? <laughs> I am 67 years old. And I'm happy. I'm a happy person. My life is wonderful. I have to say, it's wonderful. But, back in the day, I had a few years that were not wonderful. I had a few years that were not wonderful. And um, I was like in my early 20s, late teens. It's not wonderful. And um, so... And so let me tell you this. This I'm telling you this only because you're my friends. I want. I want. I want to. I really want to tell the whole world. And now hopefully people are listening from all over the world because I want to tell the whole world now that my that I had a dark period in my life. And in that life, in that dark period of my life, look, I got eight ATCs. In that dark period of my life, without going into too much detail and without having to go into too much of the facts, I gave away two babies at birth. Now, two of them. After that, I met somebody that turned out to be my life my my husband I met him and he was he was the most awesome husband ever in the world 
and he saved me from he saved me from that dark place and so he saved me and i never never could get over the fact that i had two children somewhere but not with me i'm cutting i'm going to round these with a what quarter inch well this past okay first i should say two years ago Two years, it's been about two and a half years ago now. I I didn't find my son. My son found me. And it was like such a wonderful day. Such a wonderful day. Okay. He lives in Michigan, but he does plan to move to Florida. He's been here to my house twice. He thought that take vacation. <laughs> And then, um, but then to make that story even better, this past New Year's Eve, I was sitting outside with my family. We were sitting around a campfire. We do campfires a lot. And we were sitting around the campfire and we were going to stay. I was going to stay up till We were all going to stay up till midnight and make noise or something. I don't know whatever we do. And we was drinking our sweet tea or and we was going to do that. And, um, but then I got tired. I said, you know what? I can't stay up a minute. I'm going to go to bed. And so I come in the house. And, and what I always do, you know, my computer just stays on. So I first come to turn my computer off. And I first check to see if I got any interesting messages or anything. And there was a message from somebody I didn't know. Well, a lot of times if I get a message from somebody I don't know, I just kind of delete it or something. And, um, but I didn't delete this one. I opened it for some reason or other. I opened that message. And that message said, the message said, hi, my name is Lori. And I was born in Newport Ritchie, Florida, October 16th, 1971. My heart went to my throat. And I sat there speechless. My husband's looking at me and he's saying, what is wrong? What is wrong? Well, I couldn't even speak. I couldn't even speak. I was just speechless. I was holding my head, and I said, come over here and look. Because by then, I had opened up. Just a minute, I'm looking for something. I'd opened, oh, here it is. I'd opened up my, um, the picture, you know, the little profile picture. And I looked at the picture, and I said, oh, my gosh. And then I said, told my husband, I said, look at that picture. Look at that picture of this lady. And, and he looked and he goes, oh, is that Jennifer? Jennifer being our daughter. And um, I said, no, it's not. I said, read this, read this message. And he goes, oh, my gosh, that's your daughter. Now, Richard, who's my husband right now, he's my second husband because my first husband, he passed away um, back in 97. He had early onset Alzheimer's disease. But anyway, so I, so yes, that was her. We, that was my daughter. She had been searching for me. And I had put information in on a couple of adoption sites, not so much looking for her because I didn't want to disrupt a family that might otherwise you know, not want to be disrupted, but I wanted my information out there just in case she was looking for me. And um, so I said, no, that's not Jennifer. She looks exactly like my daughter, my, my Jennifer daughter, my other daughter. And the odd thing is, too, is that she has always lived. 
only about 20 minutes away all these years. She's 45, 45, 46. She's, um, and we are like both my son and my daughter, who we have been reunited, are very close. They do not have any ill feelings toward me. None. No ill feelings toward me. And that, that makes me feel so good inside that they don't hold anything against me. I've given them my whole timeline and I've told them the stories and stuff and that's fine with them. They just, they just, today, you know, they're wonderful. And, and my prayers all over all these years were that my kids were half healthy and happy. I wanted them to be healthy and happy. Well, they both had a beautiful upbringing, wonderful parents that treated them and loved them dearly. And I could not, I mean, I'm just getting goosebumps even telling you, but um, I, I'm so happy now. I just, now, it, this has only been since New Year's Eve that I've known Lori. And so we've been together a few times already. I love the whole family. I inherited Lori and her husband and her two children, which are my grandchildren, and then three great-grandchildren that I inherited. Then they're mine. They're just mine. I won't give them to anybody else. And so um, that's my story. I did, and, and so anyway, Lori's coming over on Wednesday, and um, Lori and her daughter and her grandson are coming, which are my grandchild and my great grandchild. They're coming. Okay, so now, anyway, I didn't mean to bore you with that. I hope I didn't bore you with that, but it's just something I, it's, it's my story. It's me. It is my story. And so, anyhow, I like to share that story because for me, it's like, and they all lived happily ever after. Okay, now, I've cut these down into two and a half by three and a half pieces, which are an ATC size. And then I have went through and I have inked the edges. Inking the edges then gives it a more um, vintage look. Vintage look, and I love the vintage. And then, then there are still so many wonderful things you can do with I'm stretching with these things. I like Tim Holtz here has got really nice stuff. This is called salvage stickers. Now you can actually put, oh, you know what? I don't think I want to use them stickers. I think I want to use, oh, just a minute. Oh, my cake. My blow dryer fell down. There it is. Now it's back where it needs to be. Just a minute. You watch my stuff because I don't be taking it. Now. I'm coming back. Found it. Found it. I, um, my little thing here. This is cool. I got this over to the, um, I got this over to the, um, hmm, Michael's, but it's got all these little pockets in it, all these little hoodies in it, and so I, uh, these individual little boxes, and so it's nice to tote around, which I keep it right here beside of me, but Aria, who is one of my grandchildren, she was over there, and she was rearranging my stuff. Now, these here are Tim Holtz, but they're all people. And old, you know, old, they're not old people. They're young people. They were young when these pictures were made, but they were made a long time ago. And so, so I am thinking that if I use those on these ATC, some of them are too big. Oh, look at that. How cute is she? She's too big. So I can't put her there. Now, um. 
Oh, here's a little boy. <laughs> He's cute. I think he should be on there. And, um, oh, there was one more thing. Oh, oh, one more thing I was going to tell you. This is pretty funny, too. Um, my daughter, Lori, before she actually, at, before she actually contacted me, she and her husband, they were digging around on the internet, you know, with my name and stuff. It's amazing what you can find. But doggone it, if they didn't find my YouTube channel. They found my YouTube channel and went through, went through my YouTube channel, went through my YouTubes, and, oh, how cute. That one's a little too light. And went through my YouTubes, and they knew. They said, we knew after we went through the YouTubes that you were who we were looking for. And so um, that, you know, I thought that was almost kind of funny because, you know, after watching my YouTubes, would you want me to be your mother? I don't know. But, um that one's cute. Oh, it's too long. Two, oh, look at the three little boys. Oh, no, there's two boys and a little girl. Oh, I like that. I like that one, too. Oh, look at this little dog. Ooh, this little dog should be with that little boy. Can you see these? These. Let me see if I can make that go closer. There. That's close. Okay, see, look at them. How I love the little peoples, the little peoples, and then this one. Look at there, and I can set that dog right there where he's. The little boy's got his little hand on the dog, and so cute. That little dog reminds me of the dog that was on the Little Rascals. That was a good show. I wonder if I should. Well, let me see. These are so awesome. Oh, there's a bride and a groom. But that one's too long, too. Yeah, that's too big. Um, so that'll have to go on something else. But, yeah, they watched them YouTubes. And once they did the YouTubes, they, they knew then. They said, yep. And so then we went and we went, me and my other two daughters went to um, their house the next day because because my my youngest daughter actually while we were um while we were chatting my both of my other both of my other daughters and one son got on they they made friends with her online and so then my youngest daughter she says well when would you like to meet us and Lori said yesterday i was so excited so the next day we couldn't go yesterday of course because yesterday was over and so so um okay there we go that's good that is good i like that okay i'm gonna i think i picked out the pictures that i want to use those are going to be awesome because i love these i love the vintage thing so we went the next day and when we got to her house, only 20 minutes away, when we got to her house, she came out the front door and she said, there is no DNA test needed here because the family resemblance was so strong. And um, nope, there was no DNA test needed. Now, this guy looks like he's leaning on something, so... Maybe he could be just leaning on the edge of the card. Yeah, that's good. All right, now. And so, so yeah, they tracked me down. They, 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 um, they, um, what am I trying to say anyway? I can talk. Just to be like, I can get my little Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Um, yeah, they they went first on and found me on YouTube 
watched my videos and they still wanted to meet me and so I am just I am the happiest girl in the whole USA and because I now have my son back which my son which my son I have inherited a grandson and a great granddaughter and I cannot hardly wait till they can move to Florida which that is their plan is they want to move to Florida because they both grew up you know um, they both grew up only children and now that they know that they've got like all these siblings then they they both want to know all they can about their siblings and so we try to get together as often as we can i talk to my son his name is kurt i talk to him every day we talk on the um on the on the computer you know on the chat thing and then on the phone and 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 then and Lori she's so close she's a school teacher my son is a mechanic and my daughter is a school teacher and so they are both awesome and they're both absolutely gorgeous they're just gorgeous because of course I don't care if they look like a bulldog they'd still gorgeous to me but they don't look like bulldogs okay so i'm gluing these on with this um tacky eileen's glue i mean now eileen isn't tacky i mean i wouldn't call her tacky but i'm just gluing these little girls and boys and ladies and gents and dogs onto these cards that first started out as as um first started out as just a piece of paper that was going to be thrown in the garbage and um yeah and um I should send these to my friends see and because I put that back on there like that it doesn't show that um it gives them a little bit more stability and it gives it um and then you don't see because I was using recycled paper, you know, paper that had already been used on one side. Then I didn't want it to, you know, I didn't want that to show on the back. And but I like that the cardstock makes it a little thicker. Yeah, them two little kids are so cute with their little bodies. Okay, now the next thing. Let me see. Almost got them all glued on. I'm just make made eight TC, eight, eight, eight TCs right here. I like this little girl. She's like dressed in a. It almost looks like a German kind of a dress, you know, like you see the German dancers and stuff. Let's see. I put her up there because I don't want to cover up those little hands right there. So she's going to be up there. Now. Um, now I've seen some people make ATCs with a lot of embellishments that make them thick. Well, the actual ATC cards shouldn't be thick like that. They should be, you should be able, an ATC should not have anything, um, stuck off the edges and it shouldn't be thick with like big fluffy flowers and stuff they can be but the actual atc should not be because atc collectors they collect them in the little pages like you put baseball cards and stuff in so they should always be two and a half by three and a half hopefully i got that size right and they should be basically flat so they'll still fit in those little folders and then you always write on the back you put your, your your name or your like I would put scrap and Lizzie and I would put the date that it was made and because I have eight here I would put one of eight 
two of eight, three of eight, four of eight, and because I, you know, and so there would, people would know that there's eight in that collection, and that was the number, you know, whatever. Okay, now also Tim Holtz has, has um, little, these little, um, these little, oh gosh, it's called, this one here is called Small Talk. And so let me see. It's, it's, um, has all kind of cute, okay, this, like this one here. This one says, let's go somewhere. And so that one looks like that would go good with this little boy and his dog. They want to go somewhere. And now here's two little girl. No, it's a little girl and a little boy with a little dog. If, oh, yeah, okay, this is a lot of Halloween stuff. Explore, dream, discover. That's a good one. I'm going to put that there with these two children and their little dog. That that goes good with this one. And um, then here. Oh, let me see. There's some good ones. <laughs> Let's eat cake. Um, age is just a state of mind. Remember the mile, travel the world. Well, these two ladies, they, they look like they might be going to travel right here. So, I'm going to put these here with these two ladies because they do, they kind of look like maybe they're going to travel because they're all dressed. They're dressed to the nines right there. So maybe they're going to travel. So that's what I put there. And um, spring is in the air. I'm going to let those two little girls see that. And um, Okay, this is small top too, but these are actually different ones. Um, let's see. So we have an open heart, live your dreams with passion. Life was meant for a great adventure. Hold tight to your dreams. And you know that one here, I... I like that one. I think I'm going to put that one right over here with these three girls, three sisters. And I'm sure they have dreams. And there's a gentleman there. Um, be you bravely. Now, all boys want to be brave, so he's going to get that little quote. I like to, I like to have some words, you know. And... Um, Everything. Let's see. I feel so lucky. And that little girl, she does look like she feels lucky. So I'm going to put, because she might be going to like a dance recital or something. So she might feel, now these here children, for some reason they don't look happy. They, oh, here, stay curious. I'm going to put that there with them. Stay curious. Isn't that cute? Because they are serious. And so they're... See, that camera is supposed to be able to... It's supposed to be able to... Um, well, whatever, you know, stay, focus itself. But it's not doing that too well. Okay, now, look at there. This is my ATCs. My three, six, eight, three, six, eight. Three, six, nine, the goose train crying, and I can see the back. Oh, but anyway, there, there they are. That's my eight ATCs that I made out of those three. I mean, that one piece of paper. And I just, you know, added more things, just a couple things. All I did was I added the white paint. I added some stamps. 
I added some images. I added a little quote. I added a little spray. And and I love it. I I love it. I think they look good. And I might pick some addresses and send some people. I'll probably pick addresses off of um, my, I like to go to the group, the playground, ooh, what is that called? Pink Poodle Playground. There's a couple more words to it too, but I think that might be where I will, there's another little dog. I just seen this other little dog. I wonder if these girls should have a dog too, maybe. This boy should have a dog. Yeah, that boy should have a dog. I'm going to stick that dog. I must have just dropped that dog out of the um, out of the thingy when I had the thingy out. And so that dog should go with that old boy. Every, every boy needs a dog. Okay, so I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to let that dry. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for listening to me today. Um, and please don't judge. Listen and judge and know, know that I'm happy now. I am happy now. Very happy. I've always been pretty happy, though, except for those few years of darkness that was in my life. Okay, I want to um, say that I love you and thank you so much for watching. And um, thank you so much for watching. And also come back again when you have nothing else better to do. And may God bless you and your loved ones forever. And so that's me. That's me. And you know what? We all have a history of some kind. Some people's history is perfect and wonderful. Some people's history has little stumbling blocks in it. But we learn and we end up to where we are today. And that's it. Okay. Love you guys. And I'll be back.